Okay, just finished my first project with the MSP430 launch pad from Texas Instruments. I've had it for about a month now. I'm just now getting around to doing my first project. Here's the board. Hold it up so you can see it a little better. That's the board and that's the uh, MSP430 processor there in the middle. And as you can see, it's in a socket. And the kit actually comes with two. There's another MSP430 chip here. And uh, it's got the usual. It's got a uh, USB port for programming and or power. Uh, it also comes with some headers. A couple of these headers to attach here. Um, you got a reset button and a programmable button. And uh, a red, red LED and green LED. And a... Uh, you know, lots of jumpers and everything. It also comes with a uh, couple of these cool little launch pad stickers. And let's see, a, uh, what is that? Micro crystal. Not quite sure what to do with that yet. I'm sure I'll be finding out soon. But uh, the impressive thing about this is only $4.30. And you get not only the uh, development board but two chips and you can unlike the Arduino this Uno that I have here uh, that Atmel chip that's in there is forever stuck that's a, a surface mount device and I'm never going to take that out so uh, I mean I can prototype with this but I can't actually just program the chip up and take it out and put it on a breadboard but with this one you can and with the launch pad you can so for my hello world project instead of just doing my hello world project on this board which is a matter of just plugging it in I uh, decided to breadboard it and what I ended up with was probably one of the worst looking uh, circuits in history I got a little fancy with it, but um, the chip came pre-programmed, like I said, on the uh, development board, and so what we're looking at here is uh, I've got two, two AA batteries wired in series to give me three volts. Okay, it's switched as you see here, and I've got a uh, got a hundred ohm resi uh, resistor coming off the output pin of each output pin going to the uh, positive lead of the LED, and this is a really nasty looking circuit. This resistor right here took me forever to figure out. Uh, that's actually going to the reset pin of the uh, MSP430 and going to VCC which is a uh, up here pin one and I thought it went to the uh, ground for about a half hour <laughs> I, I thought I had the uh, thought I had the wrong impedance and uh, turned out all I had to do was look it up and the answer was right in front of me so I spent probably about all told an hour on this and uh, at first I was kind of proud of the way I did these batteries, but now I think they're just kind of funky looking. There we go. You can see all, all that is is a uh, male header. Got male headers on each side. It's kind of spring action in. Basically it's just uh, really, really unstable. It could pop off at any time. But the reason I did that was because the uh, battery pack I've been using for my, for my Arduino, which is over here, there it is. Uh, that's a 9 volt battery pack, and that's not going to do it because I'm feeding the uh, the MSP430 uh, takes three volts input, and I don't have a voltage regulator. And the voltage regulator that's on the board 
only takes a uh, 5 volt input from USB and then drops it down to 3.3 uh, 3 .3. if you feed, I already tested it, if you feed 9 volts into this board you're going to get out about 5.5 which is way too much for the uh, MSP430 I'm surprised I didn't smoke it so not having a voltage regular on, regulator on hand I decided to go with uh, two double A's a better way to do it would probably be to uh, use one double A for powering the uh, chip and then the other double A for powering the LEDs so without further ado let's give her a test I'm going to dim the light some. So we can appreciate it in its full glory. And that is just incredible. Hello world, hello world, hello world, hello world, hello world. I know it doesn't look like much, but uh, I actually learned a lot on this project. Because uh, this is the first circuit I ever built on a breadboard and uh, it was pretty cool to actually get the chip off of the development board on my very first project that's pretty cool can't say the same for Arduino and uh, looking at this circuit here not including the breadboard uh, probably looking at about 50 cents in parts to build the circuit you know, not including the batteries or the uh, or the breadboard, but that is including the processor. Now you can use our lowest power processor, which costs about 25 cents. So uh, the the TIs can't do everything, but when you can use them, they're dirt cheap and they don't use hardly any power at all either. So uh, send TI four dollars and thirty cents and get yourself a. Uh, MSP430 Launchpad Development Kit.